Five, four, three, two, another cleanse. <laughs> Baptized. Yo, what's good? I'm Eric Bellinger, and right now I'm here with the box. Thirty-five projects and counting. Grammy Award winner. You yes. got hits galore. You've worked with many superstars. Over five million monthly streams. And what matters most <laughs> is you keep your independence. You're not underrated, but more so, you'd say undermarketed, right? So, what's the best piece of advice you can give to independent artists trying to be heard? Mm, the best piece of advice is find out who you are what you are and why you are and then you'll be able to project the highest frequency that god intended and nothing else will matter because you'll be fulfilling your purpose and would you rather be happy in a volkswagen fox or crying in the rolls royce <laughs> <laughs> damn you know that was my first car did yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah, we knew that. <laughs> i'm like let me see. I'm thinking the double R, more so the ladder, <laughs> for sure. Do you ever think about those days where you were climbing in it? Yeah, definitely. I, um, I remember the spot on the 101 freeway where the hood flew up. You feel me? Because I had a belt tied to the front of the hood and the latch part. 101, I think I was at about Coanga. Here I am, Ace Ventura, looking out the window, woo, woo, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I've been there, that's how I know, you feel me? I need to pull up like this now. <laughs> Wait, was that the same whip you rode in the paper route with? That was, yes, that was, I started off in the Fox for the paper route, and then we got the Honda Accord, and we was like on one Accord at that point. <laughs> So, and we, we know Black Pack is coming out soon. Congrats on that, by the way. Thank you. What was it like working on that? Man, it was incredible. Uh, I've been wanting to do the acting thing for some time now and to, you know, have my name called and just to be ready for all the different obstacles, whether it be dancing, whether it be hip hop, whether it be a ballet type, whether it be singing classical jazz or hip hop, um, coming up with lines, freestyling, doing uh, monologues, reading teleprompters, like it was so much choreography and your boy was ready for all that. So yeah, holla at me, you know what I'm saying? I'm ready, I'm now booking. <laughs> oh, okay. And did you and Neo have any sing-offs during the break? Sing-offs during the breaks? Nah, man, we had a lot of talks though. You know, that's really my brother. And he's one of those guys that I can really just count on for real advice. You feel me? Like, yo, what you think about this? And this how I feel about that? Without judgment, you know what I mean? So shout out to Neo, man, that's my dog. Do you have the best advice that he's given you? Oh man, best advice, man. It's interesting because we come from two different walks of life in a sense of independence and the major aspects so we have a lot of those conversations and i'm always like man bro i need to be over there i need to be getting like da, 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 da. and he's like yo you need to understand that what you have is rare the freedom to be able to release music and to do what you love without anybody on your back that's a gift cherish that ready set go so we know you're trying to ah! <laughs> So we know you're trying to get into that acting bag. Yeah. So what's the dream acting role of yours? Dream acting role is, first of all, a football player. So these people can see these skills is extra crazy. You feel me? I'm hurtling over people. I'm doing stage dives. I'm doing everything possible. And how do I not have what clue what this is? Is this a, <laughs> right, is this a bad go. stopper? Okay, now it's, oh, wait, you got it wrong. So we're gonna count that wrong. Even if you saw it, do you know what it is? Nah. <laughs> I thought it was a bad stop. You put that right there. And the water stop. Better to work. Let's go see. It's a face scrub. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. What type of game is this, man? Uh, so, and, so as far as the acting, yeah. have you learned to cry on command yet? Yeah, for sure. I did. Shine on the world video. So, you know, if you watch that at the end, it's a point where I'm sitting in the back of the pew at the church. 
and I had about 45 seconds, and they was falling. So it's a three-on-three -three basketball game. Yeah. You're a captain. Chris is another captain. Who I was going to pick him. <laughs> oh, perfect. OK, who are you, who you <laughs> drafting to be his team? Who am I dropping? Who are you drafting to, to be his team? I would have beat his team. All right, I'm going to go with James Harden. <laughs> it's the homie. <laughs> and hmm. Eli, my son, real competitor. That's real. How, how old is he? Six. <laughs> but you know how sometimes they let the kid go? Like maybe, yeah, like think he just, and then scoop, lay up. <laughs> ah, we're good. You know, with it being cuffing season coming up, and we mm -hmm. know your legendary cuffing season project. Come on, man, do this. What would you tell people are the top three things you have to do to stay cuffed? All right, to stay cuffed, the first thing you gotta do is be attractive. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that is for you. Whatever that means, if it's staying groomed, if it's keeping the manicure manly, <laughs> uh, you know, just stay on point because I think once you are in your bag, it makes people want to stay to you, you know, and stay, stay, stay close to you. So that's, that's important, you know, to just be on point. Like, huh? boom, I'm coordinating right now. Everything is coordinated, you know? It's up to you first, uh, whether that's the man or the woman. Number two. You have to lead with, you know, uh, 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 love. You have to lead with love. You know, you have to um, talk to your partner and let them know that, you know, whatever it is, it's a compliment. If it's a, uh, you want something to eat, you want something to drink, I'm here for you. You're not, you got anything you want to talk about. You got to let this person know that you're there for them to be a pillow and a shoulder for them to cry on. And then you're not going to run and tell that. A place of safety. You have to build a bed of safety. Be attractive, build a bed of safety. And then when you lay in it, you can't be afraid to stay in it. But in order to stay in it, you gotta play in it. And in order to play in it, you can't delay with it. You know what I'm saying? Cause if you a dog, you can't be a stray with it. Oh yes, it's daddy. Easy. Is this a bent up hanger? I'm going with bent up hanger, bro. All right. So you got it wrong. It's a toilet paper holder. <laughs> but it's a bent up hanger to make the toilet paper roller. Go get me a, go get me a hanger. The old school joint, 99. Word, so... I get this game. <laughs> it's not intended to get the game. All right, so we heard you went crazy at the Diddy's riding camp a couple months ago. Uh, the, you, we heard you proved them that r and still here. Affirmative. So what was that like? It was dope, you know? I was like, I seen the video when he, you know, made the, the plea for r and And it was just a dope thing to manifest being in the room being able to showcase my gift to actually doing it in the Bahamas uh, in a way that made him immediately say, grab my phone. That's a different vibe when we just sitting here, somebody play a song and we be like, damn, that was hard. It's another thing when it's, stop that, grab my phone, Clap it up, everybody in the room. Nope, grab my glasses. We wait two minutes. Them glasses pull up, bow, them glasses is on. We in selfie mode, play the song. We talking that, hmm. You can't just do that, you know what I mean? Everybody is like, it's deeper than me. I was able to tap into an emotion that he was able to connect with and then want to actually tell the world about it immediately. Let me ask you this though. Out of the new generation of artists, who do you think is still on in terms of R&B? Who's still keeping that torch going? The new cast in R&B, Quintelli. Quintelli is cold. Young cat out of Atlanta. Who else she got, man? I love Cash Page. She hard. Her melodies is from heaven. 
You know what I mean? And I'm big on melody, so anybody that I'm a big up, it's always gonna be somebody that melodies is crazy because we can all like do monotone vibes and like the the smooth like R and B that everybody can you know try and adapt to, and it sounds cool if they got a good auto tune and a cool beat. I'm talking about the melodies that really never run out. We know that New Light just dropped. It was yes, dope. Thank you. So tell us some New Light revelations or some right. things that inspired it. Yeah. New light revelations for starters, staying true to yourself um, always pays off. You know, I learned that in this project. Um, a lot of the records that I did for the album, most of them didn't make it because I did more than 15. You know, I did probably like 60 to 75 songs just for this album. So as I was pulling away, it was a tough process. But at the end of it, the 15 songs are truest to me. And I think those songs were able to penetrate because people could relate to them and they believed it, you know? Like, it's not the game anymore where we can just throw out what we want and get the people to believe in false narrative, you know? So I think the truthfulness and the vulnerability uh, really transcended. Did Ty ever send back the song? You know, it's crazy. I was with him last night, right? I was like, should I bring it up? <laughs> But I was like, nah, we just made some new joints. You know what I mean? I look at it like our relationship, you know what I mean? It's like, that was like a moment, you know, like, oh, let's do this. Oh, let me hop on it. But it's like, it's so much deeper than that. We just, we cook up all the time. So I think that camera just happened to be on that day. <laughs> so it was like, is he gonna do it? I'm like, I don't know. We talk like this all the time. So <clears throat> then we know that your favorite song is turning into an empire. Yes, so sir. we gotta ask. What do you and your team look for in artists, songwriters, producers? Mm -hmm. Oh man, I think just a real ability to self-sufficiently be proactive. You know, like I came in the game as a writer who could engineer, who could sing, who could rap, who could lightweight mix enough to release it, who could get on an app and figure out the artwork who could find somebody on any platform to shoot a video for me. Like, I can do all that by myself. And if you can't do most of that, it's like, damn. All right, we got a lot of work to do, but I think the more people that come ready to go, it's like, all right, cool. Well, I can help you out. What you need, I know what you need. You just need a little bit of that. You just need a little bit of ah, off the elbow with it, you know? And some people it's like, oh, you need to pick the salt still? You need to pick the, the color that you like, you know, it's like, it's just a longer process, but if somebody is extremely, extremely gifted and I can see um, through whatever, I'm still gonna roll because I'm a person that's, you know, talent first, but you gotta come to the table, you know what I mean, with something to offer. So next for Eric Bellinger, starters, you got the acting career. You got that side of um, my character that people will be able to see rather than just hear me. So now we're gonna open up uh, another sense you know, for the people and the building of the label and artist development, signing artists, signing writers, signing producers, um, my studio becoming a compound like Hitsville and Motown, um, you know, the family just doing more things together, more TV shows, you know, just a lot of flourishing, a lot of flourishing. Woo! Ready in five, four, three, two, another cleanse. <laughs> Baptized. You'll take the whole ah! I don't take the whole shot at the club. <laughs> it's a habit. And that's still on fire. What is that? Facebook contact. <laughs> All right, are you closing messaging for all your friends out there? Ah, my new album is as hot as that shit. Peace. <laughs> all right, that's a wrap. <laughs>